and support naturally. Right, there is no need to skip ahead. I am going to get right into it. I will go through this as fast as I can to not waste your time. So if I do speak fast, I do apologize. My name is Zephyr and welcome to my video. Some quick tips before we start. Consider doing all this in hard mode if you can, because you will get more materials from the boxes. If you need to make the boxes respawn and they're not respawning, all you got to do is just teleport back to Albion and then head back to the locations I give you. That will definitely reset them. Or you can go to Albion and set your game to private, then go do your rune farms. That way, every time you teleport around to any of these green locations, that would also reset them. Shout out to the pan show for this tip. Right, so for the mono extractors and for the nano polymers, they're actually located in the exact same location. You want to go ahead and teleport to the Agna Desert for this checkpoint right here. Now, once you are here, you want to click in your right stick. This will take out this, you know, this whole <laughs> zone scanning thing. And then you want to look for the white diamonds. And inside those boxes will be exactly what you're looking for. And if I do later on say in the video, I'll just go around there and loot around. This is what I mean. I just want you to go around and to loot the boxes by clicking in your right stick. It shouldn't be too hard or too difficult, but if it is, then yeah, then I would show you but if i don't have to i'll just say go there and do it and then after you cleared out this last one from here as well you want to bring out your map and teleport to the second checkpoint in the same area in front of you there will be two more and then like behind you there's like another one this shouldn't take you that long anyway right and now next up for the flectorite and the ceramic composite you can get both of them done at the same time this is going to be located in the white knight gulch on the top right corner you want to teleport to this checkpoint the first go left go collect those two and then head back to the right and then just follow the trail one thing i would say is though is to look out for the resource boxes they won't be marked as a diamond but keep an eye out for them now next up on our list is going to be the silicon to do this you want to go to the echo swamp and teleport to the misty wood section this is loot around i don't think i need to show you what to do here next is going to be the pl the plaza <laughs> Next is going to be the semi-permanent plasma. This is going to be located in the Vespers. Go to the Lost Supply Depot, but you want to head towards this direction. You know, if you are doing it in hard mode, there's going to be a bunch of enemies here because there's a big mission right here. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that. But if you're not doing it in hard mode, you should be fine. Right, now next up is going to be the Biogel. Now this is kind of bugged out. What a lot of people are saying is that you can only get these in hard mode. So if you don't have hard mode, I don't even think you can get these. But still, you can go ahead and still try it anyway. But what I do is, what, or what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go here and then before I select the mission that is telling me to, I'm going to switch to hard mode, apply it, and then go ahead and just do the mission. The word on the street is that you need to put it on hard mode. <laughs> hey, look, if there's a bug and you can't get it on normal mode, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> That's not really my fault, you know? Okay, so next up is going to be the advanced neural circuit. Now, you basically have to just do most of the missions on the White Knight Gulch area. A really, really short mission is the first one up top. This one, you can get it done in like five minutes. It's going to be yellow monsters. You know, the yellow guys that spawn the bosses or mini bosses, whatever you want to call them kill them and then you'll have a chance of getting it and again like i said putting this in hard mode might actually up your chances or just increase the amount you do get from them so hard mode is something that you can be looking into now for the positive ion particle this and go to agna desert and do the first surveillance mission the reason why you want to do this mission right here on agna desert is because it is four minutes or less and you can, you can easily just run through this mission i should say as well that most of the purple materials are going to be purely rng based okay so to get the enzo enhanced cells blueprint you have two choices you can either do the grave walker boss or you can do the, the last void intercept battle in the entire game so if you don't know what the void intercept battles are it's the ones in the bottom left corner grave walker is the first one hangman is literally the last one which is super late into the game you shouldn't do this unless you feel like you have a good team and you know teammates with farms i know they are a rare commodity these days they're really rare to find teammates with a frontal cortex and farms so you might not have the easiest time farming out hangman granted this is going to give you a 15 percent chance to get enzo's blueprint whereas the grave walker is going to give you yeah yeah, there you go look six percent this is less of a risk and also i should note that the grave walker you can breeze through this this is the first boss in the entire game like you can kill this guy with a couple shots so maybe this is technically better it's safer it's better it's easier you know maybe you might want to lean even if you're max level like me not not max level but you know a bang out <laughs> but yeah, maybe you might want to lean into the grave walker instead now before you try to get this blueprint by farming the boss you actually need a key for it now the key you need is this pattern right here so once you click onto it and you click onto it again you will see where this pattern and drops you need this pattern as you can see there's a hundred percent drop chance rate to get this pattern you actually need the patterns first every single pattern will give you a chance of get that that chance that you saw that the six percent there if you don't have the pattern you're killing the boss for no reason at the end of the boss fight there's gonna be like a green orb you put the patterns into that green orb and then that basically gives you a chance of getting enzo's blueprint so if you're confused 
get the pattern first and then go kill the boss right that was grave walkers pattern now to get pattern 50 you can go to the fortress and do the quarantine zone mission and then obviously once you do get that pattern you can then go ahead and kill hangman uh, yeah honestly in my opinion because of how easy grave walker is and everything i i i, I go for the grave walker one. now for enzo stabilizer blueprint it's pretty much like the same thing you have two choices two boss choices so for this one you need to kill pyromaniac the boss but before that you need to get the pattern 39 and the pattern 39 is located in the white knight goal in this operation right here once you do get that pattern then you can go ahead and kill the pyromania and as you can see there is a 38 percent chance of getting the blueprint good luck now the next one obviously is going to be much harder you're going to need pattern 51 now to get pattern 51 you need to go to the fortress and do this mission on the top left and the reason why it's harder is because we're going to have to go ahead and kill the hangman and to be honest this one i wouldn't i really would not recommend doing not only are you doing a harder boss but you're also doing it for just six percent so i definitely definitely wouldn't do this one you want to stick to the one with pyromania and next up is the spiral catalyst blueprint so if you want to go for the rng route it is a bit easier because you have to kill the stunning beauty the stunning beauty is the beauty i don't know why i'm saying beauty as this is <laughs> whatever anyways so to get the pattern 11 you actually need to complete this mining operation right here in the sterile lands but unfortunately this isn't really guaranteed and it's like after you complete every round then you have a chance of getting it it is a fun mission to do with your friends as well i do have a video on this and then once you get that pattern you only have to kill the second boss in the game so it shouldn't be that hard giving you a 38 percent chance to getting enzo spiral catalyst blueprint and the other option is obviously to kill the pyromaniac obviously granted after you get pattern 37 so to get pattern 37 you need to go to the white knight gulch and do this mission right here and again this is going to give you a 38 percent chance of getting that blueprint now same thing for the Enzo's code you're gonna need the patterns first and then kill the specific boss that it tells you in the description easier one pattern 25 then then you need to go kill the dead bride so to get pattern 25 you need to go to the echo swamp and do this mission right here but yeah and then by doing this mission you should have a chance of getting that pattern and then once you do get that pattern and go kill the dead bride better than killing the level 95 one now the dead bride does give you a 38 percent chance to get this code as well like you know and so does the hangman so don't just go for the dead bride route but that does bring me to the end of the video guys if you did enjoy how quickly i got through this you know what to do show the love show the support my channel is a really really small channel and the only love and support i'm gonna get is purely gonna be from you guys i don't advertise my channel anywhere i don't do anything but press upload i love making quick fast-paced content as that is the style of content i would want to watch myself i hate clicking onto videos where the guy like in the intro rambles on for hours or anything like that or just doesn't get through it as quick enough i like to keep my rambling for later on like i'm doing right now bro like i gotta buy these descendants you know i need the youtube money bro i'm sorry i have to get this video to eight minutes bro because that youtube money is going to come in clutch there's no way i'm going to be grinding out all of this there's no goddamn way plus also another thing did you guys see how much they're charging you to change the goddamn eye color of your character bro they're charging you 275 if you add 25 more you can buy a descendant what the heck are these prices look 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 at this bundle look granted you do get like a hairstyle with it too but still oh yeah until next time guys i'll see you guys later i hope everything's good in your life i hope everything's great if you do want to know anything more if i did skip past something too quickly and you're still confused please 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 do let me know down in the comments down below and i'll reply to you as fast as i can but yeah that is it from me until next time take care i'll see you guys next time